Hello there, I'm Tony Guestier, and today I want to talk to you for a little while about scaly face mite or nematocoptes. Before we can talk about the disease, we've got to know what's normal and how to identify what we're looking at. In the middle here, a picture of a normal sear. This is a sear off a male bird because it's blue, but nice, smooth sear, beaks nice and smooth, nares or the nostrils are open, looks good. Good website this, good website for pictures of birds. On this side, we have a condition that happens in birds called hyperkeratosis. Hyperkeratosis is not scaly face mite. And that's a big problem because a lot of people think anything that is wrong with the sear of a bird is scaly face mite, not a fact. Okay, so hyperkeratosis, mostly in hen birds, mostly, and what you get is a hard brown horny looking layer over the sear, so it grows out. They can be quite spectacular, but they're never scurfy, they're never soft, they're always a hard tissue that just very slowly grows out from the sear. Never goes anywhere else, only ever over the sear. On the other hand, we've got scaly face mite. Now this is the one we're talking about today. Different syndrome altogether. Notice that we've got a lot of soft, scurfy looking stuff around the beak, or the sear, I'm sorry, get your anatomy right, Tony. Running down the beak, around the edges of the mouth. This poor old guy down the bottom here, my goodness, what a mess. Look at the beak overgrowth due to the mite infestation at, up at the sear. The beak grows from up here, the irritation causes the beak to grow longer. This is a bird that can't eat. He's in all sorts of trouble. Here's some more pictures and gives you a bit of an idea of where this thing can go. Obviously, a pretty sad looking bird, no drama. Here, early stages. Just starts on the bottom of the sear, then spreads down the beak. Old mate over here is a cockatiel. Ha! Huh. We were only talking about budgies. Does happen in other birds cockatiel. This is the Griebel. This is him. This is Nematocoptes pili. Big, fat, grubby looking thing that lives in the skin. That's it. Interesting, in these really bad cases, it can extend down onto the feet. And so you'll see feet affected as well. Like on here. So the scaly mite can affect the face, the feet, or the vent in a range of different bird species. So what we have here is an agglomeration of birds affected by scaly mite. We've got a canary, and in canaries we call a tassel foot. Budgie, here he is here with the scaly mite starting on his feet. We've got a Gouldian finch over here with one toe infected, and we've got our old mate the chook. Huh? Chooks get this, that scaly Leg mite in chooks is the same mite. That's who he is. Interestingly, this little bird only came in today, not an hour ago. And what we've got is scaly face mite. See the little coral-like holes up here? If you look really closely, you can see that. That's really the telltale sign. If you're not sure, look closely, see little holes, scaly face mite. What's happened here, though, is the mite has affected the leg, the leg swelled, the rings cut off blood supply to the foot, the foot is now swelled and is in danger of falling off. In fact, we managed to anaesthetise this little guy, cut the ring off, and I'm pretty sure this foot will survive. We're going to have to wait a couple of weeks to find out. What are we going to do about it? What we're going to do about it, we're going to treat it. New product coming out called Avimec, designed for scaly face mite and budgerigars, and works a treat. Now what I've got is a couple of little mates and they're going to show me how, or show you, how we can treat this easily. Alright, back again with our helpers. Great things budgies, they help you do all sorts of things. One of them is to show you how to apply the Avimec successfully to these little guys. Okay, so we've got our Avimec, we've got our budgie. All we need to do is make sure we get the Avimec 
on the bird, preferably on the skin. Right. Hold the bird in your hand, side on. Part the feathers just over the top of the thigh. Gently, gent, gently, tilt the bottle, squeeze, one, two, two drops on the bird. I tend to just dab it with my finger to make sure it doesn't run off. Job done. That's it. That's all you need to do. When you're treating birds, you need to treat all the birds in your aviary or all the birds in the cage together. Right? This is a mite. It transfers from one bird to another. Some birds can have it and not show the symptoms. You need to treat them all. So you treat all the birds. A budgie this size, I use two drops on. A little bird, I use one. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's safe. You'll get away with it. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Two drops for a big bird, one drop for a little bird. Treat them all once weekly for three doses. Okay, once weekly for three doses. It may take six to eight weeks for really bad cases to settle down. Bit of patience applied, works a treat. Now, let me just go and grab very quickly another little helper and I'll show you how to do it in a finch. Righto, helper number two. Here he is, helper number two, little finch. He's in my hand, sorry, it's a, bit, it's a bit hard to be able to see these little guys in a hand. However, all we're doing here now, remember, little bird, Avimec, one drop. Finches come with an Avimec place pre-built in. There it is, bit of bare skin right on the keel. Easy to do, I'll tip him upside down, try and get close enough to show you, it's a bit of a juggle here. See the bare patch there? That's where we're going for. Tip it up, one drop, on the skin, bit of a rub. Job done, people. We're finished. I've just been through my aviary. I've caught all my finches up, trapped them in, one drop, let them go. Next Saturday afternoon, we're back at it again. Treatment for scaly face mite. See you all.